ABC and ADC are triangles. The area of triangle ADC is 56 metres squared. Work out the length of AB. Give your answer correct to one decimal place. So an important thing to remember for this question is to write out all the information which we work out onto the diagram. So the first thing we can do is use the formula for the area of a triangle to work out what this length CD is equal to. So the area of a triangle is equal to a half AB sin C. So if we let length AD be equal to A, length CD to be equal to B, which would therefore make this 105 degrees angle C. And we've been told in the question that the area of triangle ADC is 56 metres squared. So this means that 56 is equal to a half multiplied by 11 multiplied by CD multiplied by sin 105. And if we simplify this down, this gives us that 56 is equal to 5.313 multiplied by CD. And now what we can do is divide both sides by 5.313 which tells us that side length CD is equal to 10.54 metres. So we can write this into our diagram. So the next thing we can do is use this information to work out what the side length of AC is equal to. And we can do this by using the cosine rule. So the cosine rule is that A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cos... So if we want to work out the length of AC then we can let AC be equal to A. And if we put the right hand side of this equation into our calculator, this tells us that side length AC squared is equal to 292.107. And if we square root both sides of this equation, this tells us that side length AC is equal to 17.1 metres. And again, we can write this into our diagram. So now we have enough information to work out the length of side AB. And we can work it out by using the sine rule. And the sine rule is that A divided by sin A is equal to B divided by sin B. So we can label up these side lengths. So if we label up the angles and side lengths in triangle ABC, we can let side length AB be equal to A, side length AC be equal to B, which would therefore make angle BCA angle A and angle ABC angle B. So we can substitute these values into the sine rule. And if we substitute these values in, this gives us that AB divided by sin 48 is equal to 17.1 divided by sin 118. And if we multiply both sides of this equation by sin 48, this tells us that side length AB is equal to sin 48 multiplied by 17.1 divided by sin 118. And if we put this into our calculator, this gives us that side length AB is equal to 14.4 metres. And this is our final answer. Now this question is worth 5 marks. We'll get our first mark for substituting in the values into the formula for the area of a triangle. We'll get our second mark for rearranging this equation to work out the side length of CD. We'll get our third mark for using the cosine rule to work out the side length of AC. We'll get our fourth mark for using the sine rule to work out the side length of AB. And we'll get our fifth mark for the correct answer to one decimal place.